if you can do it, it's not easy. Yeah. Okay. Look at it. It'll wipe that smile right off your face. I can tell you that right now. Nobody's smiling after a one week of water only fasting. <laughs> <laughs> we have some of our students sometimes used to be every day, big smiles on their face. They come in, they love life. They love everything. And then when they try to fast for several days, they sit with a moping looking face. Yeah. I mean, it's not a friendly looking face. Um, <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, so nobody's smiling and saying, oh, how great it is. I haven't eaten anything for 25 days. Look at how great I feel. No, no. Um, it's, it's a, it should be brought in. Uh, you can dovetail it to whatever religion you happen to be, you know, give it up for the greater glory of God or something like this. Uh, whatever can be dovetailed to help you do that. But, but I think it's easier if you go on a low-carb diet for uh, several weeks, uh, get a low GKI, and then and then jump into a water only fast um, oh yeah it yeah. makes it a little you, the jump is not so dramatic than if you go 100%. cold turkey in this whole thing yes. yep so uh, um but then again those are the those are the strategies that folks can use if they're really seriously interested in doing this for the betterment of their health um we don't use any any drugs uh except the ones that are going to kill cancer cells so uh, uh, and the drugs that we use, I said, are low are we use at low doses uh, and, and that's what the uh, dosage timing and scheduling part of the press pulse concept. We, we're not there yet in perfecting uh, the strategies for what dosage timing and scheduling. You can use some of these drugs that will target glutamine. It's, e it's easier to target uh, glucose with diet and lifestyle, but glutamine is a little bit more difficult. Unless you're doing a pretty good vigorous exercise, you can lower glutamine. But I don't know if it's lowered to the point where the tumor cell would be eliminated. That's why we use a small, a little bit of do a drug to push those over the threshold and kill them. Uh, and you don't want to ever uh, use any kind of a drug that has a remote chance of harming a person. That tells you you're not doing it right. Okay, so all these terrible toxic effects, you see the poor cancer patients this is not right. This is wrong. This speaks to a profound lack of knowledge on the biology of the disease they're treating. Because you don't, you can kill cancer without having to do any of this stuff. It's just that it's not known to the majority of people or the oncology field or the National Institutes of Health. So right. uh, it's just, it's just a, a wall of, and then when you talk to those guys about it, oh, I don't know, it hasn't been tested. Oh, no clinical trials. And there's always right. a non-scientific argument Right. for why it won't work it's not like oh did you see the science no but it won't work and it's like give me a break you know it's uh anyway this it'll be the future you know why because people well, the people want to live <laughs> <laughs>